Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NewCutter.com. And in this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to install Node.js as well as learn how to actually run code using Node.js. So to get started, we're gonna actually have to download Node.js. So if you go to Google and type Node.js download, you should get a web page similar to this. And I will be leaving a link in the description in case you can't find it. So go ahead and download 8.11.3 LTS. Now, once you download that, run it, install it, enjoy all that good stuff. And within these tutorials, I'm gonna be using Visual Studio Code. And if you don't know what Visual Studio Code is, it's an editor. Now, you can use whatever editor you want, but the reason I'm using Visual Studio Code is because it has an integrated command prompt. So once you download these two things, I'm just gonna head over to my desktop and let's create a new folder. And I'm just going to say Node.js tutorial. And now I'm just gonna head over to Visual Studio Code and you should have a welcome screen like this. Go to File, Open Folder and we are gonna open the folder that we just created. So I'm just gonna select this. And now I'm just gonna hit Control N. Control N is gonna create a new file. I'm gonna hit Control S and we are gonna save this file and I'm just gonna say app.js. And this is gonna be a very, very simplistic uh, JavaScript file and we are just gonna run it. And this is just a test to see if you installed Node.js correctly. So if I hit console.log, hello world from Node.js. Now if I save this, and I'm actually gonna exit out of this, but you saw that this just popped up on my screen. If I go to terminal, here is our command prompt. So I'm just gonna exit this to show you how you could bring this up whenever you wanna run a uh, code using the terminal. So I'm just gonna close this. I'm gonna hit Control B. I am going to go to View. I'm gonna to go to Integrated Terminal. Now by default, Visual Studio Code has it on PowerShell. So if I go up here, you can notice that mine says CMD. So if I hit Control Shift P and type default, I can say select default shell. Now I have three terminals installed on my computer. You probably have PowerShell and you probably have Command Prompt. And I also have Git. Go ahead and click Command Prompt. Hit this plus button. This is gonna bring up a new terminal. So if I was to hit this, it'll bring up another CMD and this should say CMD. So I'm just gonna remove, for me, I'm gonna remove one since I already have one open. And now all I'm gonna do is type node and then the name of the file. So the name of the file that we just created was called app.js. And here we go. We get an output of hello world from node.js. Now let's say that you're not using Visual Studio Code for whatever reason, you have your own editor of choice. What you can do is you hit the start menu, type CMD, and then go to command prompt. And then you can see that we get something very similar to the integrated command prompt, but we're in a different location. So if I go to my desktop, open this folder. Let's copy the path that this folder is located. So I'm just gonna hit Control C to copy. Head over to my command prompt. I'm just gonna type CD. CD stands for change directory. All that means is, hey, change folder. So right now I am in a folder called users, Pedro Mercado. I need to be in this folder. So now I'm just gonna click this go down to edit, click paste, and that's our path. So now if I hit enter, you can see that our path has changed. And now if I type node app.js, 
you can see that we get a hello world from node. So either way is fine. If you want to use Visual Studio Code and it's integrated uh, terminal, you're more than welcome to. If you're using a different editor and it doesn't have its own integrated terminal, you're more than welcome to use the command prompt.